Hi kids! Welcome to our online service that has been produced specially for you. Good morning everyone! We are so glad that we can see you all online again. And I hope that each one of you are excited and thrilled to watch the online service today. So we have all been listening to different stories for the past few weeks, right? Now we all love listening to stories. Yes, and Jesus, he loved telling them. Now those stories that Jesus told us are called, that's right, they're called parables. Now Jesus used parables to help people picturize and understand the lesson that he was teaching. So now let me check how many of you remember the parables that we have learned so far. Now I am going to give you a clue and you will have to tell me the name of the parable. Okay, can you quickly type in your answers in the live chat? Are you ready? Okay, the first one is the parable taught us that the condition of a person's heart determines how he or she responds to God's word. That's right children, it's the parable of the sower. Now your second parable. Now this parable taught us that Jesus is the strong foundation and that we should build our faith on God's word and it helps us stand strong when we face difficulties in life. What parable is this? Very good children, it is the parable of the wise and foolish builders. Are you ready for the last one? Okay, now this parable we learned teaches us that we are all important to God and that God can use every single one of us to build his kingdom. Excellent children, it's the parable of the mustard seed. Wonderful. Well, this reminds me of last week's activity where we all planted some mustard seeds in good soil. Look how much mine's grown. Well, mine was planted a few days earlier, but it sprouted so much. Now, I'm sure that you all did the activity and you are taking good care of it. Now, does the heart that we all stuck remind you to pray daily for God to give you a good heart? Like that of the good soil? And to also make a choice to believe and trust in him and in his words. Now I hope that you all have been praying persistently for this. Hmm, what's that now? You ask me what does the word persistently mean? Well, it means to do something continuously without giving up. The Bible says to pray without ceasing. So here, I am giving you a clue about today's lesson. Yes, today we are going to be learning about a persistent prayer. Now, are you all excited to listen to another parable that teaches about praying persistently? Okay, so before we can dig deeper into the parable, let's all pray together and get started. Let's all close our eyes and pray. Jesus, I come before you today. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this online service. I pray, Jesus, as you are listening, your word help us. So we will understand it also. And I pray, help us. So we will not only be the hairs of the word, but the doors of the word too. Thank you. And I pray for all the children who are watching this online service. I pray you bless them and you bless all the teachers and you bless them and you protect them. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.
Psalm 34 verses 1 to 4 says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The word bless in this verse means to praise, worship, glorify and thank God. This verse says that we are to bless the Lord at all times, not just when things go smoothly. We are to bless him when things go wrong too. We are to boast in the Lord even when our present doesn't look so good. When we keep this attitude of praise, in the midst of our problems, we come through victoriously no matter what. So let's surrender everything to him who is able to do much more than we could ever imagine and raise our voices to praise and adore him who is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Good morning. Uh, I hope we're ready to worship once again. Uh, let's go.
say it one more time in secret. In the secret, in the quiet place. been listening to parables of Jesus for a few weeks now. 
right? And it makes it so easy and simple for us to understand what Jesus is teaching about his kingdom. So last week we heard the parable of the sower to understand that the condition of a person's heart determines how he or she responds to the word of God. So now children, tell me, have you ever had somebody that kept calling you again and again and again? They either called you on the phone or kept knocking at your door, waiting for you to respond. How did that make you feel? Do you get irritated with them? Hmm, what about this? Have you had times when you needed help from God and prayed, but then wonder if God really heard you and if he will answer your prayers, if he will really do what you asked him for? Or have you wondered if you are really important to God and felt like God doesn't care about your problems because he has much bigger things to do. Sometimes we all feel that way, right? So in these times, should you continue praying or should you stop praying because you don't see any change happening about your problem? Well, Jesus told his disciples a parable to show that they should always pray and not give up. So children, are you ready to listen to another parable with Jesus told? Let's listen. The Persistent Widow there was a woman who had some real serious problems. Well, the first problem was that she was a widow. A widow is the one whose husband has died and has no one to take care of. Like today, in the olden days, women didn't work for their living and they would really struggle if the provider of the house dies. So the woman in the story was a widow. But not only that, she had greater troubles. She had an enemy and this enemy was always after her and troubling her. She wondered, whom can I go for help? So she decided to go to a judge so that he might give her justice. But children, this judge was not a righteous man. And the Bible tells in Luke chapter 18, that he did not fear God. He thought, I don't have to do what is right. There is no God who is going to come after me. He also had no respect or care for our people. One day, this woman came to him thinking that she will get justice and she put her case to him. My children, what do you think the judge did? He said, I don't know who you are and I don't care that your enemy is troubling you and I'm not going to help you. The widow went away very discouraged and very sad. What do you think this woman was going to do? Bible tells us that she was very persistent to receive help and that she continued to come to church. Maybe every morning when he opened his door, she was there. Will you take my case today? She would have told and the judge would be like, no, no, no. Or maybe when he's going to work, she might be there crying out to take a case. Or maybe when he was in the market, there she was. We really don't know how many times she went to him. But even though it all looked hopeless, she thought I have nowhere else to go. So she came to him time after time and after time. As the time went on, the judge started thinking, 
This woman is there all the time wherever I go. He thought to himself, if I don't hear her, give her what she wants and give her justice, she will never leave me alone. So the judge heard her case and gave justice to the widow. And the widow returned very happy and joyful. The Bible tells in Luke chapter 18 verses 4 and 5. Luke chapter 18 verses 4 to 5 says, Though I neither fear God nor respect man, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will give her justice so that she will not beat me down by her continual coming. In the parable, we saw that the woman was overjoyed. She rejoiced greatly. She was thankful because she had asked endlessly without giving up and she received justice. So here, Jesus is trying to teach us that when we pray to God, we need to be as persistent just like this widow was. The widow did not give up asking the judge for justice, even though he didn't care about her. And you saw what happened in the end. She eventually got what she was asking for. This is great news for us children. Think about this. If an unrighteous judge who didn't care about people gave justice after she had repeatedly come back and asked him over and over and over, how much more will a God who is just and righteous and loving defend and protect his people who pray to him day and night? So does this mean that we literally need to pray all day and all night for our prayers to be answered? No, but what is important is that we need to have a walking, talking, living relationship with God. And how do we have that? We know that God is real, right children? So we should remember and know that He is always present with us. At school, at our home, when we play, we should talk to Him like the way we talk to our parents, our siblings, or our friends. We need to be in constant communication with him. Tell him our problems, our worries, all our joys. And sometimes when we feel like our prayers are not being answered, we must not lose hope. We must continue to pray. And when we are persistent, God will take care of all our needs. God wants to hear from us as his beloved children all the time and we can rest assured that he will hear us and bless us with what is truly best for us. So children, are you all ready for this week's memory verse? So it's from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 16 through 18. It says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Shall we all repeat it once again? Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Okay, children, are you ready for the activity? Have you all been paying attention to today's lesson? Let's check. I will ask you a few questions and I want you to quickly type in your answers in the live chat section. Are you ready for your first question? Here we go. Which of the following is true about the parable of the widow and the unjust judge? A. God is unjust. B. We must pray persistently. C. God cares about us more than an unjust judge. D. All of the above.
That's right children, options B and C are true about the parable. Now let's go to the next question. What words does not describe the widow in the parable? A. She went to the judge for justice. B. She was persistent. C. She cried day and night unto the judge. D. She gave up trying as she didn't want to bother the judge. That is absolutely right children. The option D is the right answer. She did not give up on trying. She was persistent till she got justice. Brilliant children, you all did so well. Mark 11, 24 says, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Prayer is such a great privilege for a child of God, that is you and me. It is simply amazing how that we can go to God through Jesus Christ and that He grants us things that we ask in prayer. There is a power when we pray. No matter what situation or difficulty it may be, as long as we pray and depend upon God with a true heart, He will fulfill all our needs according to His will. So with this belief, let us stand up, hold our Bibles high up in the air and make our declaration. Say this out loud, bold and strong with me. This is God's word. This is God speaking to me. I am who God says I am. I can do what God says I can do. I will become everything God has promised. I am saved, healed, delivered, redeemed. I am blessed, victorious, prosperous, triumphant. I'm a minister of God, a servant of Christ and a channel of His blessings to many people. I receive his word, I believe his word, and I live by his word. Christ is my master and to him I am in absolute surrender. I walk into the more glorious covenant with God. I live the more glorious life in the spirit. I manifest the more glorious ministry in spirit. In Jesus name, Amen. I hope you all learned valuable lessons from the parable of the persistent widow. You know children, in the Bible, there's another story that Jesus told that was similar to the story of the persistent widow. This story also stresses on how we need to continue praying until we see our prayers being answered. So one day, Jesus was sitting with his disciples and he had just finished teaching them how to pray. And then he tells them a story of a man who had a visitor come to his house in the middle of the night. This man didn't have anything at home to offer his friend who had come. So he decided to go to another friend's house to get some bread. So he goes and he knocks at the door. Hey, I need help. My friend has come after such a long journey and I need three loaves of bread. I have nothing to feed him. Could you please help me? Please help. But this friend inside the house replies saying, Go away, the door is already locked. My children are sleeping next to me, so I can't get up and give you anything. Please go away. However, the man was persistent. He continued knocking. Help, please. Please help. What do you think, children? Would the sleeping friend have woken up and given bread to the knocking friend? Yes, that's right, he did. Thank you. He got out of bed grabbed his best three loaves of bread, unlocked the door and gave them to his friend who came knocking at his door. Not out of friendship, he gave it because of his persistent knocking. Sometimes when we pray, we might feel like the widow or the man who went to his friend's house at midnight. 
when we have really important needs, we pray to God and we tell Him all about it, right? Maybe someone you love is really sick. You pray and ask God to heal them. Or maybe you find it difficult to study and you're not able to remember what you study for your exams. Then what do you do? You pray and ask God to help you, right? Maybe you're being bullied in your school or in your neighborhood. You pray and tell Jesus about it, no? Or maybe you argue a lot with your brother and sister and then you pray and ask God to help you be nicer. Like this we have needs every day and we pray asking God for help, right children? Now let me ask you a question. What do you do when it seems like there is no answer to your prayer? Sometimes we lose hope and we give up and we stop praying, right? Yeah, we all have been there. But what did we learn from the parable of the persistent friend and the persistent widow? That's right. First, never give up. Don't lose hope. Don't stop praying. Even if it seems like it's taking a while for you to see your answers, don't give up. You need to keep asking God for what you need and God always answers our prayers in the perfect time and in the perfect way. Second, be bold when you pray. Jesus wants us to be bold when we pray. He wants us to step out in faith and believe that He will answer us even though our needs may seem so big. He wants us to have confidence in Him and depend on Him. In John chapter 14 verse 13, Jesus says, You can ask for anything in my name and I will do it so that the Son can bring glory to the Father. Now sometimes when we pray, we see the answer right away. But then there are times when we'll have to wait for a long time for God to answer. You may think, well, why doesn't God just answer my prayers immediately? Why do we have to wait and be persistent in prayer? Remember children, God always answers prayers. Sometimes he says yes, sometimes he says no, and sometimes he says wait. Waiting can be hard, right? We all like quick solutions. But God knows everything. He knows if we need a yes to our prayer or whether we need a wait or whether we need no. God will always do what is best for his people, whether he says yes no or wait. It's just like these fruits. Which of these do you think is ready to be eaten? This one? Let me try eating this one. It's raw. This one was not ready to be eaten. I should have waited for it to ripen like this one. Now let me taste this. Mmm, this is yummy. This fruit had enough time to ripen and now it's perfect to be eaten. Did you see children how waiting for the right time is important? It's the same with our prayers too. We must wait on God. He knows when is the right time to give us what we need. We just need to trust Him and keep praying. Remember children, keep praying and depend on God. Depend on Him and ask Him for whatever you need according to God's will and wait and see how God does amazing things for you.
about anything and said pray about everything Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done Don't worry, His death reigns Don't worry, His death reigns If you do this, if you do this Then His peace will guard your hearts and minds As you live, as you live, as you live in Christ Prayer is what we call a conversation with God. Even though God created the entire universe and has power over all things, He wants to have a relationship with us. He wants us to know Him. We can talk to God anytime, anywhere and about anything. Here are four ways that we can talk to God. P. Praise. Praise. One way is to praise God. That's when we tell God what we love about Him. So children, let's praise God for all His goodness in our lives. Let's pray. Father God, we praise you for your mercies are new every morning. We adore you and magnify your name for you alone are worthy of all our praises. We thank you for your steadfast love and faithfulness towards us. We praise you for you are a miracle working God and our healer and savior. Lord, we thank you and praise you in Jesus name. Amen. R. Repent. Second way to pray is to repent. Children, we all mess up and sometimes we turn away from God. When we repent, we ask Him to forgive us and we turn back to Him. Children, let's repent for all wrong things we have done. For we know God will forgive us. Let's pray. Our loving Father God, we humble ourselves before you. We seek your forgiveness for our sins that we have committed through our words, thoughts and actions. Cleanse us by your precious blood. Purify us and change us from within. Help us to overcome our temptation. Lead us and guide us to walk in your truth. In Jesus' name, Amen. Third, ask. We can ask God for anything we need. He is always by our side, listening to us and guiding us. Let's ask God children what we need and He will answer our prayers. Let's pray. Gracious God, we pray for our needs and the needs of others to be met according to your will. Lord, you are the Jehovah Jireh, the provider of our life. We ask for your comfort and strength to those who are in need. We look to you alone, Lord, as our help comes from you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Why yield? To yield is to submit and surrender to God. We yield when we listen to what God says and obey Him no matter what we want. Kids, Remember, like any good conversation, we shouldn't do all the talking. We should listen to. Let's spend some time to yield to Him and listen to what He wants to say to us. Let's pray.
Father God, we want to surrender our lives to you. Lord, speak to us as we want to hear from you, as we seek your face, Lord. Guide us to be sensitive to hear your gentle voice. Help us to stay focused on you, Lord, and may your purpose be fulfilled in our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We hope you enjoyed today's online service and we'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think. Write your comments in the live chat or you can send an email to kidsonline at apcwo.org. Before we close, is anyone's birthday coming up? Why don't you type your name, birth date and age in the live chat below so we as a family can wish you and pray for you. Let's pray before we close. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this time, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Father, for what you have taught us today, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Heavenly Father, for teaching us about prayer. And I pray that you would help each and every one of us to keep on praying and to pray always, Heavenly Father. Lord, I just thank you for this word, Heavenly Father, and I just pray that you would teach us uh, to pray at all times, Heavenly Father. Lord, we also pray for everyone who's celebrating their birthday today heavenly father i just pray for them and i bless them in your name lord jesus and i thank you for their birthdays heavenly father and i just thank you for everything lord thank you so much heavenly father we pray this in the name of jesus christ amen bye children i'll see you on zoom bye everyone see you all next sunday bye everyone see you all on zoom Thank you.